It's, it's your boy uh, Ninja here. What's good, King Fresh? Coming at you with the Cough Cup Rogue Tournament. Why are we call it Rogue? Because this is going to be pre banned list. So uh, excuse all the fun stuff that you may or may not see that you probably can't do after this video comes out. How you doing today, Ninja? I'm doing pretty good. We're going to have a, pretty much a slapper of a uh, game here. We got uh, Evil Twins versus. Um... Oh, gets mad at this. This is going to be interesting because. Uh, I don't know too much about Majesty's, but I know it's a uh, got great artwork. I can tell you that, dog. Much. <laughs> Man, no, Evil Twin got great artwork. Hands down, I'm hoping for Evil Twins to win. Well, you know, Evil Twins definitely would have a pretty decent matchup against Majesty's. We're going to see how it works out. No, no. See, the power of uh, E Girls is strong in that deck. Oh, man. You know. I've seen a lot of E-Girls. We gonna see if they got the power to be just like them. All right, well, shuffling. Now they're finally drawing their cards. And it, let's see who has elected to go first in these streets. Let's see who's about to start off. It will be the one and only uh, Magic Girls. I mean, uh, Live Twins. <laughs> nah, it's not Live Twins. This is gonna be fun. Oh, oh no. Cybernet mining, discarding Cyber a ooh, an unchain. Oh no. So uh, uh we're playing Unchained Evil Twins. Which is fun. That's even more fun. Double the trouble, double the fun. I like them when they unchained. Oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's not go the, too far. Uh, now we're playing live twins. Lolly, Lila, I forgot how to say her name. Oh man, that's I, I can't say the names. You know, I just look at the pretty artwork. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call her Live Twin Pink. That was the that was the weebest thing I think I've ever heard you say, Crow. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pretty artwork. Oh, heavy oh, storm duster. Ooh, uh, like the back row. But uh, you know, Unchained really wants their stuff to be blown up anyway, so. He actually really helped him out. Yeah, that's that. That's not a good play. That's that's not a good look there. So because that he hits the unchained trap card, he can now special summon an unchained. I want to say is that aura? No, I believe that's soul. Soul a disaster. Not sure. I can't really see the art from the wall. The uh, the card name, name. but it's cool. It's uh boy. He's starting with the. With that Madison's white boy, and it looks like we're trying to understand what the <laughs> card does. Forgive us on like some of the uh, naming schemes and stuff, guys. So uh, most definitely, we are gonna make, sh especially with Madison's, because uh, we're not the fullest familiar with that deck yet. But don't worry, I'm working on it. In the meantime, Ninja, go ahead and keep on. What what do you see is going on here? Um, well, he tried to activate an effect to allow him to basically add a spell or a majesty card from deck to hand, but uh, it been meet with the ash, so that kind of pretty much stopped the play right there. Um, I feel like the deck is pretty unique and different in a way because he used like the extra deck to equip and like get certain effects off of that. Wait, well, that is pretty different. Ah, now he's linking. Linking away for a link one going into. I think that is Artemis. Magic. Yes, yes, it is. Oh man, is there going to be a normal special summon up for the effect? Is the better question. Or did he just burn through everything? He could just hit. Oh. Oh no. Got It got beat up, folks. Never mind. Well. Let's see where they go next. Cause right now it's looking like um, pink and unchained beat now. Okay, look like he uh, special summon. Yep, goes right back in. At this point, I'm starting to think that that is Crowley, but I'm not too sure. No, that's not Crowley. That's uh, she's in Witchcrafters. 
Oh, that monster. Okay. She's older for some odd reason. Hey, I one. know it's. I was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Right? Yeah, Rinaldi. Oh, yeah, that is absolutely interesting. Yeah, if this card is normal or special. Try Mage Magistus. Now, that card I do know. Love the artwork on that one. Ah, uh, yes. Gets a, gets a special summon. He's going for the effect. Oh, boy. We're about to get, get it saucy in here. So, you summon Zora. Zora, you can target one Majesty monster you, you control. Equipped it with one Majesty monster from your extra deck. If this card is equipped by a Majesty monster card, you can special summon one level four spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position, except Zora, but its effects are negated. All right, and he equipped the um, rank one. Uh, the, um, rank one of that out of there. Yeah, I believe if the rank one gets uh, the idea yeah, the, 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 the um, rank one is. Uh, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can add one Master 2 monster from your deck to your hand. And, uh, yeah, you can only use this effect once per turn. And you can only supposed to summon accuracy the uh, Artemis once per turn. Alright, well, that's going to be interesting. That's he's, he's, he's starting to get a little ahead of steam here. Question is, is going to be enough? Because he did beat up on um, Live Twin Pink. So now we're going to find out, can he actually make a decent little push? Yeah, let's see. Hopefully. Alright, he's going in for the uh, battle phase. Oh no, no, never mind. Oh, he's linking. Link to. Kind of make you wonder what he's like really uh, going for or something in this deck. I'm not really quite sure. Oh, he's synchro he something. He's I synchro. forgot one of them is a tuner. Oh God, he synced into Savage, but Savage. he doesn't. But he only has one. Um, he's only gonna, gonna gain the one counter. Yeah, he's only gonna get his one to gain. But he gets the boost for it though, so it, which is it's, so it's not bad. It, it's nice, but he gets one to gain. Normally, we see Savage with at least two to three. Mm -hmm. You know, on average. That is very true. But, you know, maybe that one negate can make the game ch change the game, maybe. Ah, uh, in this format of Yu Gi Oh! It all depends. Simplify game states. That is true. Especially with that Unchained monster already gone. So yeah, he's it's... going back to search for Unchained. There we go. Oh, I think this is the uh, soul. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. He's got a body back on board, which will definitely help him going into the next turn. Draw. All it's right, he's standing with two cards in his hand. Oh, he's activated an effect. Oh, oh, is met with Solomon Strike. Doesn't even need sword for this one. He'll uh, take his fifteen. That's true. That's what you call having it. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, about to special summon. Bringing back one of his Unchained monsters, but the effects are negated. Pitch to destroy. destroy. Oh man. The equip spell is also gone. He's thinking. Which is where does he want to go next? Um, he's attacking the Majesty Monster. Since it's not equipped with anything, it doesn't really have any effect that will protect it. Very true. He took a quick, quick Took hit. another 15. Put it him at 43,000 life points. Oh, and just like that, you know, the slight advantage goes back to, to the, evil twins. To evil twins are chained. Mm -hmm. Just just that fast. Very interesting. Uh, the question is where do they go from here? 
do they keep their more simplify up oh, he's recycling the trap shuffling putting that monster back so now he has oh desires comes down mm. as no my running man joke. oh yeah as my running joke here comes the neg nine here comes the neg nine now he better pull something that that he can work that out with. Well, he had a hand. The question is, what is he gonna banish? Yeah, he's he gonna normal summon Endymion. Uh, Endymion is the uh, card that allows them basically to draw. So it's basically their draw power of the deck. But I'm definitely glad that you have studied. Um, Majesty, this is a deck that I haven't got a chance to really just sink my teeth into. Uh, I mean, I have the core in my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just sitting there and I'm like, huh, no maybe to, I should do something with it. Note to our fans, if you ever get a ninja's car, there's some cores waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, it's pretty funny because I got like dry trying cores too. <laughs> If you don't give me that core, I swear to Jesus. <laughs> no, I already got, I already spent money on that deck and everything. <laughs> no, it's too late. It's mine now. Oh, okay. He's equipped on the fusion card. Um, oh no. Oh, oh, that guy. Is yeah. that Iwas? Yeah. Try to remember what the fusion does. Um, yeah. When this card is equipped, when this card is in the equipped card, the equipped monster gains a thousand attack. And during the main phase, quick effect, you can target one other face up monster on the field. You equip this tar card to his control to that controller. Control oh. to it. And now he's got a equip on the with the um the synchro as well. Yeah, and also if you if this card was equipped to an opponent's monster by this effect, take control of the equipped monster. Also you can't activate this effect. But hey, you know, take control of it, link it away, use it for to generate an advantage. Oh yeah, make it even crazier now that now um, Vahram is out was out there as well equipped to somebody. Ah uh, yeah, that card is like if you do any like battle with it, you can immediately destroy the other monster instead. That is crazy. Like it's a cool little deck. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I, it's definitely interesting. I said that artwork is great. Oh, he's still cycling through his unchanged. The question is, when is he gonna pull, pop off with those evil twins? That's my biggest question. It seems like he's like the Majesty player has generated a lot of advantage. Um, well, we're not quite sure what in that back row. Well, I know it's an um, unchained card for sure. Yeah, it is an unchained card for sure. It's the one that he used, um, that he had earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. He um, recycled it by sending that um, that one unchained monster back to the bottom of his deck. Yeah. Now that I can tell you, and he, I already know that um, the Magistus player is definitely going to have to dance around that because he doesn't want to give him way too much advantage. Okay, so now he's using the spell card to. Fusion Summon goes into that monster. Uses this effect to equip it. Wow, he he made it the long way this time, which is absolutely terrible. No, no, he took control of the monster, so that's the only way he can actually do it. So, oh, he's activating his Unchained card. There we go. Look, <laughs> bring that back. Ooh. He still was able to find a way to make some advantage out of that. The question is, is this too little, too late? He drew. It looks like he drew an evil twin. Look, he drew the blue. But he's trying to find out a little bit about what's going on on the board state. Hmm. He's asked about both monsters, the equipping, and all that stuff from there. You know, I, I think he's just trying to make sure all his ducks are in a row before he makes his next play.
Okay. Now, question is, is he going to try to scoop with Lilla in his hand or no? He's linked with two, going to Unchain. All right. Use that as leaking material to go into. Question is who? Question is who? Who? Also, you know, trying to figure out game state. Um, I think he just went into. again what the heck is that accent no no oh no oh he got access code out there that is welcome I to the game boys. game yeah welcome to the game boys there's no way in living heck you're getting through this punch all right well that should be Game. If it isn't that's, game, it's going to be yeah, that's, that's game. Oh, yeah. That's game one in the books. And he allowed the one and only twins to go first. It's time to get live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He's already starting them unchained plays. Here we go. It's time to get saucy. Un speed of unchained. Up, oh, see. Reveal the special. This is getting nasty. But seeing that this is a tournament that's right before the ban list, seeing that we have have seen it. Goodbye, Numeron Network players. <laughs> I knew you well. <laughs> no more Zexa. Jesus Christ. He's got bodies on board for sure. Not Rep Send one to Grave to get the spell card back. Affect the search. This is getting wonderful. Oh. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just enjoying this uh, lovely piece over here. I know, right? Look, he's got me pulling the weight. It's okay, though. I got a lot of weight to pull on a daily basis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's the sauce. This is uh, pretty, getting pretty saucy out here. Saucy in so many ways. Yes. I don't know why. He thought it was a good out twin. I did let the twins go first. He's not even playing the twin stuff right now. The unchained stuff is the stuff that's going off. He's having fun. He's got literally a link monster. He's got two cards in the back row. He just tapped him. And I believe he's about to pass her. Yep. Summoning Zoro. Zoro effect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's about to go ahead and start working it. So while I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm just saying this right now. When the set comes out, I'm calling dibs on all magic key monsters. <laughs> I'm playing it. King Craze is playing Magic Keys, and you y'all not gonna stop me. <laughs> Don't impede me. Just give me the cards. Thank you in advance. Management. <laughs> Even though I'm kind of petty, I kind of like that sous ship. Um, <laughs> the sous ship build. Yeah, that one does look cool. It looks funny. It's a it's a nice little engine. It's a great rank for toolbox engine. I'll tell you that. Oh. 
reading that card because you know reading is important folks huh. they say reading is fundamental I say it's fun for the mental <laughs> that was quite funny <laughs> nah, I'm getting beat up it looks like. It's looking great. I don't know. Well guys, it is a slapper. Oh, Cosmic oh, Cyclone? He did cut inside the Cosmics. Yeah, I kind of figured. I guess this deck he would. Does get the job done, and most importantly, it makes it where you can't get that resource back. So, to my knowledge, Madison doesn't have a lot going on for going on for Banish. Yeah, no, they don't. So that definitely cripples them a little bit. There's no way to recycle. Like to the Unchain, Pop, Search, Out from the, oh man, God. he's about to have fun. This this had to be a 2-0, because this, this is looking fun. Was that an Ash? And he about to get to swinging. Like one of my favorite professional wrestlers, Cesaro. This is getting ugly. 7,000 to 1,400, maybe six. This is probably last chance for the Magistus player here. This is your last chancery. Oh no, he linked it. It's a P. Tear Griffin. It's over. <laughs> I'm on board. <laughs> Is what I'm seeing. With desires. To scoop. Scoop. I don't think you can come back from this. Scoop. Oh. Run, boy, run. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Boy, this is. It is two back rows. Monsters that say you can activate monsters' effect. And a monster that can link away your stuff. Nah. This is like eating peanut butter and jelly without the peanut butter and the jelly. Yep. This is just bread at this point. He <laughs> <laughs> must well throw two pace on that sandwich. Cause he Cause it ain't much he can really do. Yeah. He need a whole board wipe. And I definitely ain't seen no lightning storms. And I ain't seen no dusters in his uh in his sideboard. He's waiting to activate that Cosmic Cyclone. Mm -hmm. He just laying in wait. Cause as soon as he does that, the game is pretty much over. And it doesn't look like he got rid of too much in his desire. In his desires um vanish. Yep. I saw like a bunch of his like hand traps that he doesn't need anymore. Yeah. It's... So it's pretty much like. Kind of says lights out. Yeah. Set in stones. S set in stone of legend. But is it a white stone though? Uh. You and all you kill players. Or is it a black stone that makes it legendary? No, 
just think it's like a nasty egg at that point. If you see a black egg, would you like think to go eat it? No. Looks rotten. Nasty. Why it's gotta be rotten because it's black? Because it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's the cyclone. Just 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 leave it alone, man. This is a good time to scoop. Well, guys, I think we got game here. Right. Even if he doesn't think there's game, I see the line in the sand. And now it's time to find out who man. he is. Oh, man. Oh, and there's the feather. There That's it goes. The, if, you, well, if you really didn't think the game was done, I like how he showed the gold... The gold print Harvey's feather duster in the screen. All right, guys. Well, this has been y'all. This has been good. It's King Frage, Boy Ninja. You know what time it is. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Ran from Team DFG. Thank you so much for watching this video, and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, feel free to check out our Facebook page, where we have exclusive content as well as updates. Links in the description. Thanks so much again guys and see you in the next video.